Hey lovelies, welcome back. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Okay, I'm doing an update on this collagen peptide powder. Okay, let me tell you y'all. I've been using this collagen for a week. One week only. I started on last Friday, I believe. And I just want to show you some of the results that I got. I had a concern about my neck and my chin area. And look, y'all, I already see a difference. I'm going to come close and I want to show you that under here is not as saggy and just pronounced as it was before. And look at this. Now if you go back and you watch the previous video, you will see that this was much more, much looser. And over here was more loose also. So I, I'm really impressed. This is only a week and I've been taking one scoop of the collagen peptide protein. Now those of y'all who said that you're going to go on the challenge with me, uh, let me know how you're doing. And if you're going to start doing the challenge, please get this collagen supplement because I'm seeing results already. And I'm just going to imagine how it's going to be in two more weeks, three more weeks, and down the road. Do you see the difference? My skin is a little bit firmer. I've been drinking more water, and I'm sure that helps with this uh, collagen peptide. Everything works together. I've been taking my hair vitamins my vitamin B complex, my um, multivitamin, and I think I said uh, my hair and nails and skin vitamins. I'm not sure, but I've been taking all my vitamins, plus this collagen has really helped. I really do see a difference. Let me know if you think you see a difference. Look at that. Really? Okay, ladies, I got this collagen from uh, Amazon. If y'all want to join me in the challenge, first go back to the, uh, the first video. Check that out so you can see the difference in my skin and my face. I mean, and my neck and my uh, chin area. And also, I'm noticing that the very dark spot that I have on either side of my face they are fading also. Uh, I don't know if that has to do with only the collagen uh, or my skincare also. Please go back to that video, check out the skincare video. And also, I just want to answer one question from one of my subscribers who said that they have very dry skin after menopause. When your skin is dry and you're applying your skincare, the best way to hold moisture in it's to have your skin wet or damp because when you do that whatever cream lotion oil you put on will lock in the moisture just don't put your skincare on your cream your oil your moisturizers on a dry face because it will just sit on your face and it will not penetrate but if you have the water in there and you lock it in first have your skin damp, I'm sorry, have your skin damp first and then put your creams and your moisturizers and your oils on, that's going to lock in the moisture. So I hope that helped. And also you must keep up with it because your skin is always going to go want to go back to the way it was. If you have dry skin and you don't continue on, it's, your skin is going to go back to being dry. If your skin is oily and you don't continue your skin care to address oily skin, if you stop doing your skincare, it's going to go back to being oily. Everything always want to go back to the way it was. If your hair is curly and you put some kind of relaxer, texturizer on your hair to change the texture, if you stop that, it's going to go back to the way it was before. And that's the same way it works on the skin. You have to continuously apply what the what you've learned how to do your skin and then that's the way you're gonna see a difference try to be proactive 
and not let things uh, go back to the way they were. Once you get your skin to the point where you like it, just continue. Then you can add and subtract certain things. But get it to the point where it's working for your particular skin issue. And then if you can see that you could scale back, maybe you don't do the same thing every day after, but after you get consistent. Because what I do is I switch up on my skincare, but I know what works already. So once you learn your skin and you maybe could go a couple of days without doing the same exact thing, but get the same result, but you got to get to that point. You got to be consistent at first addressing your issue and then you could change it up a little. So I hope that answered your question and I'll see you in the next video. And if you got anything from this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.